Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can easily host multiple WordPress website all on a single VPS server with Cloudways. First, you have to sign up for Cloudways. You can check my referral link in the description. Also, you will get my promo code. Then on the website, click on the start free option. You will get completely free three days trial without any credit card or payment method required and it's very easy to sign up for cloudways it just fill your simple details and in promo code you can use my code smart 10 okay with this you will get extra discount for the next three months when you start paying so it's a great deal and then once you complete the sign up process you have to log in And the first time you log into your Cloudways account, you will see a prompt like this to launch your first server. Just click on launch now. And from here, you will have to select the application. So with Cloudways, you can use this multiple applications. So for our example, we are going to use WordPress. You can also select the WooCommerce if you want to do that. I will select WordPress 6.0 and then create a name for your app and fill these details. You can fill these details as you as per your preference. There is no specific requirement or anything. You can just fill your details which you will be able to recognize later. And then you will have to select a hosting provider. So for fast hosting, uh, especially for WooCommerce type website, I would recommend either using the Vulture and then select the high frequency or standard option. You can also select the digital ocean, but currently the premium digital version, uh, digital ocean server is not available here. So I would recommend use the virtual high frequency. For WordPress, this will provide amazing speed and you will get the best performance with high frequency. It will cost a little extra. So you can select from here the RAM size. You can select it to one GB minimum and then there is 2 GB and then more and more as you would want. And then if you scroll down here, you will have to select the location of your server, select the location which is closest to your audience. And similarly, you can also explore the other service providers. Digital Ocean is the cheapest option available here. So I will select that for testing and then pick a server here. Then click on launch now. Now Cloudways will install and configure the server. You don't have to do anything at all. You just click on launch now and then Cloudways will take like seven minutes and it will configure and install WordPress and everything. It will be automatically done. Okay, so the installation process is complete. Now you can see your server details. This is the IP of your server. This is the RAM size and server location and you can see the creation date. Now we can also switch between applications from here. If you click here, you will see all the applications that are connected to the server or other servers if you have opted for multiple servers. Another way to access this is, you can just opt for the servers here. Then you will see the, all the applications linked to the servers by clicking on this icon here. This is the website we created. Let's click here. Here you can see the WordPress URL. This is the temporary URL issued by Cloudbase. So just click here and you will be able to see the WordPress website we just created. The login details can be uh, used from here. Just copy the email ID, then copy your password and you can log into the WordPress admin area. So that's how simple it is to install and launch your WordPress website. So this is the first website we have launched. And now if we want to launch another website, it's very easy and simple to do. So to do so, uh, let's go to the applications tab here. And from here, you can click on add application, then select the server, click on add application. Now we can select Again, all the options are available. So not just WordPress, if you want to use some other platform, uh, you can also do that, which are available here, or you can just have a custom PHP. So you can upload your HTML and all that files and just have a simple basic website. So that option is also available. So again, you can select um, this WordPress here, or you can select WooCommerce, anything you would want. And there's another feature, the Astra Pro feature. So if you want to learn how to get Astra Pro completely for free, I have already created a video. Uh, you can check out that as well. 
So again, create your app name. Then I will select the same project, click on add application. So that's how simple it is to just add another application and you can see this will take about two more minutes for the WordPress to install and configure and everything. Okay, so the application adding process is complete and now you can notice the difference here. First, it was showing one and now you, it is showing two applications. So this is the second application we just added and it's the same WordPress. So we can now also see the website from here and log in from here. Okay, so this is how easy it is to add the applications. Now you would want to add domain name and SSL certificate to this applications. So you can do so by clicking here, click on domain management, then just enter your domain name here. And then for example, just click on save changes. Okay, so the domain name has been added to the cloud-based control panel. Now we have to go to access details here and this is the IP of the server. So we can just copy it from here and then go to the domain registrar settings. From there, you can uh, update the records here. So if I have created a detailed video about how to uh, update the DNS settings for domain, GoRoadID, Namecheap or Google domains. So you can see this is my current IP. So what I can do is just edit this here and then update the IP address of this server. Okay, so this was the IP address, then I will just save it. And that's how easy it is to link to the server. And then you can also issue the free SSL certificate by going here. And then you can just put your domain name, email, and then click on install certificate. And that's how easy it is. Similarly, you can add domain name and SSL certificate to your other applications also. By going here again, go to domain management and then add your domain name here. So that's how easy it is to install multiple WordPress websites with CloudBase. And I would recommend you to select at least 2 GB if you want to add like more than two websites or even a basic 2 GB will be good enough uh, to start. And then you can always upscale your server capacity. You can increase the RAM and core depending on your requirement. So hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any doubts or questions, please post them in the comments. And for more cloud-based tutorials, check my full playlist. The link will be in the description.